Have you ever wondered how cloud computing works? Well, let's dive into it. Cloud computing, in its simplest form, is like renting a house instead of owning it outright. But instead of a house, you're renting computing power. It's akin to paying for electricity. You use it, you pay for it. You don't, however, need to worry about setting up your own power plant. In this analogy, the electricity represents a plethora of resources that you can access. Servers, storage, databases, software, and more. The best part? You can get all these on demand, over the internet. Hence, the metaphor of the cloud. So, instead of having your own infrastructure, which can be costly and hard to maintain, you're essentially renting a slice of a much larger, more powerful setup. You use what you need, when you need it, and only pay for what you use. So, what services does this cloud offer? Cloud services come in three main flavors. Infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. Now let's break these down and see how they work in our digital world. First, we have Infrastructure as a Service, or IAS. Picture this as renting a fully furnished apartment, equipped with all the essentials, instead of buying a house and filling it with furniture yourself. In the realm of cloud computing, this means you're renting virtual servers, storage and networking components. It's all the hardware you need without the hassle of maintenance. Next, let's talk about Platform as a Service, or PaaS. This is like going to a fully stocked workshop to build your dream project. You don't need to worry about gathering tools or setting up your workspace. In essence, PaaS provides you with a ready-made development environment, complete with tools and services. You just build and deploy your applications without the fuss of managing the underlying infrastructure. Finally, we have Software as a Service, or SAAS. This is akin to streaming your favorite shows over the internet, instead of buying DVDs or Blu-rays. In a similar vein, SAAS allows you to use cloud-based applications like email, office suites, or project management tools directly over the internet. No need to install or update software locally, everything is handled in the cloud. So in a nutshell, these are the three main types of cloud services. IAS is like renting an apartment, fully furnished and ready to live in. PAS is like having a fully equipped workshop at your disposal. And SIAS is like streaming a movie with no need for a physical copy or any storage space on your end. Now that we know what's on offer, what are the benefits of using these services? Stick around to find out how the cloud can make your digital life easier, more efficient and perhaps even more enjoyable. Cloud computing offers numerous benefits, from cost-effectiveness to security. Let's delve into these advantages. First up, cost-effectiveness. It's like renting a swanky penthouse but only paying for the rooms you use. No need for upfront hardware costs or ongoing maintenance, you simply pay for what you use. Next, we have scalability. Imagine your business as a potted plant. As it grows, it needs a bigger pot. The cloud acts as an adjustable pot, allowing you to easily increase or decrease resources as your business blossoms. Thirdly, there's flexibility. Picture accessing your data and applications from a beach in Bali or a cafe in Paris. All you need is an internet connection. Then we have reliability, where high uptime and disaster recovery are the guardians of your data. Lastly, security. Cloud computing isn't a wild west. Many providers offer robust security features and compliance certifications, ensuring your data is safe and sound. Sounds great, doesn't it? But how is all this deployed? Cloud services can be deployed in three ways, public, private, or hybrid. Each has its unique characteristics, strengths, and potential applications. First, let's talk about public clouds. These are services that are shared among multiple users and are offered by big names like Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. This is like renting a flat in a big apartment building. You get your own space, but you're sharing the overall infrastructure with others. Next up, we have private clouds. These offer dedicated infrastructure for a single organization. Think of it as owning your own house with total control over the space and extra security. It's a bit more costly, but sometimes the control and security are worth it. The third type of deployment is the hybrid cloud. This is a combination of public and private clouds offering the best of both worlds. Imagine having a house in the city and a flat in the apartment building. 
you get the control and security of the private cloud with the cost effectiveness and shared resources of the public cloud. These deployment models give organizations the flexibility to choose the best fit for their needs, whether that's sharing resources to save costs, maintaining control for security, or a mix of both. So, who's using all these cloud services? From individuals to large enterprises, cloud computing has a wide user base. At the personal level, we're using the cloud every day, often without even realizing it. From storing photos on iCloud to streaming music on Spotify, cloud services have become an integral part of our daily lives. Small businesses too are harnessing the power of the cloud. They're using software as a service applications to manage their operations, from email and office suites to project management tools, all without the need for local installation or maintenance. Then we have large enterprises, where the cloud takes on a whole new level of importance. They're using infrastructure as a service to rent virtual servers, storage, and networking components, and platform as a service to build and deploy applications without managing the underlying infrastructure. Whether it's for storing personal data or running mission-critical applications, the cloud has something for everyone. As you can see, cloud computing is a vast and diverse field with something to offer everyone. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. Cloud computing is like renting computing power, offering services like infrastructure, platform, and software as a service. The benefits include cost effectiveness, scalability, flexibility, reliability, and security. There are three types of deployments, public, private, and hybrid clouds. And it's used by individuals and businesses of all sizes. Remember, this is just a high-level overview of the vast world of cloud computing. Feel free to ask if you have specific questions.